Hello, I am back again, and I am showing off some homemade horse tack. Um, it's been a while since I've been doing horse tack. Um, been doing mostly voodoo dolls, but anyway, here's the first tack I've ever made. It's not that good, but eh, it was the first one. Got some little bling for Tucker there. Stirrups, saddle, saddle pad. Here's River and um, some decorative tack. Wasn't sure if it was supposed to be medieval tack or circus tack, but anyway, I try to make it real pretty. There's no stirrups on here. I, I guess I didn't think to make them at the time. But long time ago, saddles didn't have stirrups, and uh, wars were fought um, without stirrups. But once they made stirrups, the people who were riding with them won wars because they could ride better. Anyway, there's river and the beautiful decorative tack. Here is revel. I did not make the halter here, but I made the reins, the saddle, and the saddle pad. Uh, I updated the stirrups because uh, they were looking a little wonky. And uh, I really like how a saddle turned out. Next up is Chester in some medieval night tack. This does not have a cinch, um, but um, goes around his chest and his bum. Yeah, I think I was watching Full Metal Jousting and was inspired to make such a thing. Anyway, Chester's wearing medieval today. Usually he wears western. Here is Guapo. I made a braided bozelle for him. I made the saddle pad, just not the saddle. I bought that somewhere. Yeah, it even goes under the chin like a bozelle. Miss Honey here did the same thing. Made the bridle, not the saddle. But I uh, tried to make it match with the two tones here. The dark brown and light brown. Here is trail dust in some western tack. Yeah, I'm really proud of myself. I even tried to put um, longer shanks on it like it was uh, one of those darn tom thumbs. Like maybe he has a mean rider that uses those. And I made... Um, See her horn for the saddle and his stirrups and everything. Uh, I think this was the first western saddle I actually made. It's glued in the back here. And I'll show him later with his rider in a bit. Okay, here's Rudolph and some beautiful English tack. I think this is probably one of the best English saddles I've ever made. It's really detailed. And, of course, the bridle. Made every single part on him. Yeah, I'll cut up old leather purses and get metal bits and um, parts and wire. Um, to make uh, saddle pads and um, other tack and stuff like that. And there's cute little Rudolph. <laughs> it's not perfect, but Sheriff Mustache can fit in there okay. Got the boots and stirrups. Kind of looks like he's up in the saddle. And uh. He's not holding the ring. He's going to get bucked off. Oh, no. Oh, he's good. <laughs> oh, man down. Man down. 
<laughs> Salad fingers fits in his saddle. <laughs> Poor Zee. How so scary. Has to carry Mr. Fugly's salad fingers. Yeah, Salad Finger has feet and he has fingers. The um, reins. He's actually a pretty good rider. I think I'm gonna make more western tack. Uh, I might change the reins on this one. Uh, but I think this one turned out real pretty. Maybe I'll get some more uh, string like this to braid. Anyway, um, that's all the horses with tack for now. And uh, leave a like if your horse crazy. Subscribe if you like arts and crafts. Bye.